and move up in the world. The Straight Edge Band Shelter have combined the teachings of the Hare Krishna movement with hard rock music. Our correspondent, Carla Williams, recently hung out with them at the Hare Krishna Temple. Krishna, Krishna. pleasure of being with the band Shelter on top of the Hare Krishna Temple in Brooklyn, New York City. So how did you guys become Krishnas? I think for myself I can say I was into like a natural, natural living and vegetarianism, holistic medicine and ultimately spirituality and I felt that uh, Krishna consciousness, it didn't um, criticize other religious systems but actually showed you how they're actually all working together. It's not what you do that matters in Krishna consciousness, it's the consciousness you do behind it. So Hare Krishnas aren't all just monks that sit in temples. Actually, uh, you know, most people, they live everyday lives. What you do is you try to spiritualize your, spiritualize your life. So we're in a band. What we try to do is we do it as sort of a meditation. And when we're up on stage, we're actually meditating on the lyrics. And we try to, and in that way, it purifies ourselves. And we try to put a message that'll help enlighten and purify other people. Of course, every now and then we do take a break and do uh, uh, rock and roll detox and go to India for like two months and just chill out. But um, most of the time we're just on tour. What kind of people come to your concerts? Mainly the punk scene and the hardcore scene in New York and in Europe and England. Um, a lot of Krishnas come. Sometimes. <laughs> you never... What do the other hard rock bands think of you guys? Some actually think it's actually a really cool thing. And some people are just so freaked out by it and they think we're, you know, completely out of our minds. Why choose hard rock rather than maybe a more mellow type of music? I think it's, the, I think it's probably the most powerful method of communication. Also, we are from that music scene. So tell me about your new single, Here We Go Again. Love in the material world, it always leaves with broken hearts. Whether it's love for your lover or pet or whatever. Relationships should be there, but they should be spiritualized. We should ultimately, friendships should be towards helping, helping each other towards enlightenment. Their other relationships are temporary, so the real place to repose that love is with the Supreme. So that's what here we go again means. Here we go again, you know, material energy has fooled me again. Here, here we go again. So mantra, what, what's the rest of the album like? Is it on the same sort of theme? I consider them anthems for youth, for real revolution, but revolution just doesn't come from throwing rocks. It comes from you getting rid of the exploitative nature that's, you know, within your own mind. And then you become liberated or free. When we're not on tour, this is the Harry Krishna Center in Brooklyn where we live. Our home. So in every uh, Harry Krishna temple, you'll see one of these statues of Prabhupada. Um, Srila Prabhupada was the person who didn't concoct this philosophy, but who brought these teachings that were passed down in India for since time immemorial and brought them to the Western world in 1966. We have a lot of far out pictures over here. This one is called samsara. It means the cycle of birth and death. I think we gotta lighten up a little bit. This is where the material meets the spiritual, the shelter office where we have our laptop, our fax, our phone, uh, pictures of rock and roll shows, as well as worshipful deities. <laughs> this just out. This is the, Jap the Japanese version of our CD. And this is our mail for this week. See what we got. We get mail from all over the world. It's amazing. Yeah, we get great letters. So this is what Shelter's all about. It's mixing punk rock and spirituality. It's working out pretty good so far. That's it for tonight. We're taking off, but next week we will have the legendary Rolling Stones. We'll see you then. Peace. What do the other Krishnas think about your band? <laughs> they love it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, they, I think uh, a lot think it, I mean, some probably think we're crazy, but um, do you I find think they that, think it's pretty cool. Do you find that the younger Krishnas are willing to accept it more than... You know, the older Krishnas sometimes don't understand it, but... We just played in Miami and an older devotee came. He's like, I wasn't sure about this, but I think it's pretty cool. <laughs> you know? Oh. Oh. Late night.